Uh, uh, welcome back, everyone. It's time for more Monster Hunter Generations. And Yay. we're here with our cat friends. So last time we hunted the bear and it was fun. Today we're Yay. taking a change of scenery though because, well, I want to get out as much of the different areas as possible and also show you great monsters to hunt and techniques to defeat them that we haven't gone over before. Today's focus will be about barrel bombs, which Ooh. has nothing to do with barrel rolling. But ah. yeah, yeah. I think your character was dreaming of hunting a monster all night. Well, I mean, that's kind of what he does. Oh, yeah, it's her again. Oh, yeah. Hey there, monster bait. Can't wait. Make up your mind about stuff. Yeah. You could try your scrawny handed fishing out past the dunes. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I told you, all right? All right, so we're making our way toward the rank three stars. In order to do that, we have to basically take down a bunch of monsters and, of course, finish all of these little quests here. So today's uh, adventure is mostly going to take place in the dunes, which is kind of like the desert. Well, it's mostly the desert. Ooh, so, as long as it's not the movie dune. I don't like that movie. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not, it's not <laughs> the movie dune. And uh, eventually uh, we'll do some prowler stuff too, which is basically you play as a cat. And you go out on missions that say, you know... What? Yeah. You can play as a cat? No way. Well, yeah, you switch in your little hut and stuff. So, what about, like, giant sandworms? Are we going to fight them? We're going to fight a land shark. What? No way. Like so a Skylander land shark? Yeah, kind of. If you guys are going into the desert for the first time, what I recommend uh -huh. doing is make sure that you have cold drinks. Hot drinks. No, hot, no, oh, wait. hot wait drinks is, no, is for the no, Arctic. Not good. Cold drinks is for the Ooh. desert. I wonder what that cold drink tastes like. Maybe lemonade? What do you think, Kaylee? Well, I, I know how they make cold drinks in Monster Hunter. It's not very delicious. I mean, you take a bitter <laughs> bug and you use ice rocks and you create this really <laughs> unique well, thing. I thought you were telling me before something like what you've always pictured a cold drink to be. Like uh, ice cream. <laughs> it's like it's, it's, like, it's like an immortal ice cream, though, that it's doesn't... Like because ice, ice cream, cream that you can drink with a straw, but never unfreezes. Yes, it, it has like the <laughs> magic ability of it never like unfreezing. So this right here is our little cat shop friend. Oh. If people are wondering about how to do the eating, all you do is you I sit never, down. I never eat ever, because I don't know what to do. Well, you can pay money, you can also do other stuff, but the little cat friend with, here. Oh, you can make pay with money or points, it looks like. And I don't remember if we've gone over this before, because it's been a few days since our last episode. And in the meantime, we're trying to work on LEGO Star Wars stuff, so juggling back and yeah. forth between games is kind of jarring for me, so... The meal was almost mystical! All, all I know is our, our little uh, hunter notes, uh, or on our computer it says that we fought a bear yesterday, so... Or yeah. a few days ago. Well, I've been trying Rainbow to learn, bear. I've been trying to learn more Monster Hunter with you a little bit, and... It is just... such a commitment, isn't it? It's like, Yeah, crazy. I think, uh, uh... I think I should, uh... I was gonna say take time off work and do it, but of course this is kind of work, so... Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we have our heat endurance by using our cold drink, and now we are going to go find, uh, basically Land Shark and try to incorporate... Ooh. I'm not very this good at the cool. bombs. I like the desert look. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm telling you right now that I'm not very good at barrel bomb placement. Barrel bombs... Since we don't have a gun, or we don't have... Even the insect glaive can actually make stuff explode from far away. Mr. Landshark. Cephedrome or something, or Cephedrome. Call him Cephy for short. Cephy. <laughs> so, you'll see a lot of gunmen Whoa. online use the bombs, but they had the ability from a safe distance to set them off, because you can be affected by the explosion. He looks sometimes. cool. Yeah, he's... And weird. It's pretty, pretty he's... crazy. Now, I usually fight this guy with my insect ah! wave and the dual sword, so I'm a little nervous about he's fighting him with the... this thing. Yeah, you were telling me, well, doesn't this thing uh, get them down faster or something like that? Or? Yeah, it has a uh, ability to really 
make uh -oh, fighting so, monsters so very Kay quick. So Gaming is trying to get the monsters down faster for you guys with the I don't want this. Okay, blade. I don't want the story to last like 90 episodes. So what we're gonna try to do is tackle two to three quests in 20 minutes. So in order to do that. The switch axe is very important for that because it's very powerful. I've also spent a lot of time online, like, increasing the level of this thing so it has higher hit points. Ah. Which means that I've had to go literally all over the place and spend all my money on my switch axe and not so much on armor. Again, this is another save file. It's not the one where I'm going crazy and being the hoarder and collecting all the different armors and bugs and things <laughs> like that. I'm just yeah. getting what's necessary to increase the strength of the switch axe. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think to truly be an awesome monster hunter, you should just quit everything else in your life and play monster hunter and then just have a bunch of cereal in the house and just eat that all the time. That works. That works. <laughs> That's basically the K-Wing method. All right, so see these tiny little bombs? <laughs> they act as fuses, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a large barrel... And then we'll use the tiny bombs, which already have like a little bit of a... What do they call it? It's not a spark. It has a um, fuse. already has a fuse that's going. Yeah. And... Ah. Uh, okay, I messed that up. See how I was affected by the blast a little oh. bit? Also, if we do this right, we'll knock the monster over. How, how can you tell where he's going to be, though? Because it's impossible to just put the bomb there. He's nope. not going to see bomb's right there. Now we need to put the fuse. Ah. Oh man. Come on, come back, come back. Well, looks, I mean, this looks impossible. It's annoying. Ooh, he has friends out here. Oh, my gosh. Boy band. Come on. Is there his backup singer? There he is. All right. He's kind of close enough. All right, here we go. Fuse is set. And... Got him! Whoa. See? See how it knocks over the monster? So this guy, so barrel bombs are for monsters that are really feisty or something? Uh, yeah, but, well, I mean, it's easier to knock over a monster and start hacking away at it than it is for it to just be standing up. Because if you do enough damage, you knock over the monster. So explosions tend to do a lot of damage, right? Yeah. So... If you do it smart, then even a low-level hunter has the ability to take on, you know, these guys. Or, I mean, it even works on dragons sometimes, too, like the big wingy guys. Yeah. I mean, help, Helpful Hero um, will probably know what I'm talking about, and a lot more experienced monster hunters. I mean, I'm still experimenting with the barrel bombs. Oh, yeah, Helpful Hero. I still think they're kind of a waste because they take up so much space, but I'm not grinding items today. We're just hunting monsters. Well, Kaylin, I think you're doing really awesome. I'm trying. I'm proud of you for how much you've been playing Monster Hunter. I'm confident that if there were monsters like this in real life out there, which who knows, maybe there are, you would do very well. Well, the other other companies that we have other games to look at, I just feel bad because I just don't have the time right now. It doesn't matter. The only game that exists right now is Monster Hunter. There are no other games. <laughs> uh... That's what you need to do if you're going to play this game. You need to go into a cabin in the woods and just sit there with your... Take only one game with you and sit there and play it. Oh, I mean, my 3DS has like a seven... New 3DS has like a seven to eight hour battery, so... That could totally work. Yeah. I'm eventually going to get myself a cabin somewhere. Just, you know... That would be fun. Just to have it. So because we have our acrobatic abilities, I know there's some people that are probably watching and they're like, how in the world are you able to mount a, mount a monster using the switch axe? It's like, well, we have aerial arts. So what's cool about aerial arts, if you roll into a monster, you jump over it as like a defensive ability. So then just like swing your sword or axe or whatever. Whoa. And you have the ability to knock down said monster. Whoa, so if you're, oh my God. Here we go, here we go, super, boom. Did we get him? Nope, he's still alive. But, yeah, he's weak. Whoa. See? See? Barrel bombs, switch axe, winning combination. Yeah, this is such a unique looking monster, though. I like the hammerhead kind of like. Oh, the shark look to it? it? Yeah. Yeah, he's running and away. He's got fish fins and stuff. I wonder how that would work. Oh, okay. Oh, Good job, great. Key -wing. Where did he go? Happy hunting. Oh, crud. I forgot to tag him. Doggone it. This could take oh, 20 minutes just to find him. Man. Uh, noob mistake. Noob mistake. 
I was gonna say something. Well, I got so into telling people about barrel bombs <laughs> and things like that. that I, well, I was I mean, asking about them. Always, sorry. always, always <laughs> paint the monster. I'm distracting. I'm sitting here distracting you. Well, you're Kawaii, so that makes sense. Is that him? Kawaii. Can't tell well, if that's. Well, either one of his friends. It's somebody. Oh. I didn't know that they had sand levels in Monster Hunter. It shows how far I got in it. Mm hmm Did they have those in uh, deserts in other games? Monster Hunter 4? Yeah. Oh. The dunes have always been a part of it, but each map location differs per game. Oh. So they have the same theme, Arctic, dunes, volcano, vol volcanic area. Ah! Or usually volcano those really... Volcano is how they say it in Monster Hunter Land. No. All right, cool. So this is where he's going to sleep. I'll need to remember that. This is a, a place usually where those red raptors hang out, which are important for dudes <gasps> and other stuff. Ah, this guy! Those crabs crab. are nothing. There's actually a giant crab that uh, you can fight, too. I've already fought him online a couple oh times. Oh my gosh. I wonder how many crab cakes that would make. And people are like, how are you so skilled at this game? It's like, I've spent a lot of time online. And like I said, I have been... Actually, you played, like, several of the other Monster Hunter games, but you I did. just didn't get, like... We just never got to the point where, by the time we got to the point where we could record, it was kind of like already old then, so it was like... I made this game, or the Monster Hunter series in general, so difficult by just not using the weapon that most people recommend. A lot of people recommend the Sword and Shield for beginners, and I really like the Insect Blade from Monster Hunter 4, so I spent a lot of time investing into that. The problem with the Insect Glaive, even though it's an amazing weapon, and you can get very good at it. It is one of the longest weapons to take to upgrade. The Switch Axe, though it looks like a horrifying weapon, yeah, um, it's not that much of a pain to put together. You get a lot of parts from other monsters. You can incorporate so many things to get this into like really sharp shape compared to say an insect glaive. Like three hours into the game, you only have it at like strength of 90. All right. With the Switch Axe, you can get it up to like 120 or 30 in like four hours so dare, dare i ask what your favorite weapon is insect glaive really mm -hmm. still i thought still. because you're using the switch axe you like that okay the switch axe is important to the story aspect of the series because people have low attention spans <laughs> people i've read the comments of a previous monster hunter series i've seen boring noob uh all kinds of hurtful true things <laughs> about me oh, pacing I'm myself. Sorry. Some of those comments were people who search. <laughs> no, just... People who search and watch <laughs> Monster Hunter videos, they only will stick around for about three months. Oh, so if we can yeah. get all the monsters taken care of, like in rapid succession, and have like the videos streamlined, then we can have Monster Hunter instead of it taking ninety episodes, we can have it be sixty, but or we could have the story fifty. Well, most people, if they play the game, though, they they won't just quit their job and play the game non-stop well you know what i mean like a long a lot of people play the game over a long period of time usually but if you're recording it yeah they don't want right so i mean we're still about we're close to about two weeks before launch so what i'd want to do is we have all the basic videos releasing we're, i'm gonna plan on release like a video a day uh for monster hunter and then probably like the actual monster hunts uh would be like i don't know I still haven't figured out a thumbnail design or anything like that, because whatever, yeah. but, you know, I... Yeah, see? You did it! Switch axe. And how many minutes was that? Fourteen. Wow! That was amazing! Yeah, but now we have time for something else, so I need to oh, yeah, think you about... Have to, you have to carve him. Well, yeah, I mean, you always have to carve I mean, monsters, I, but... I forget. And I know people are like, why weren't you carving monsters when you were fighting the big one? It's like, I'm not going to spend time in these videos that deal with monster hunting to, uh, you know, go around carving stuff. I'm gonna spend time, I guess we call it off-camera doing that, you Yeah. Know? Well, I never, I never realized how cool your outfit is. You have this little visor or something. No, this, I mean, uh, the hunter mail can be upgraded, but, like I said, my focus is just the switch axe right now, making that as powerful as possible. Powerful. So it takes this monster, which can be kind of a pain to uh, yeah. kill because he dives into the sand. You know, and then runs away. It's not like the other monsters that are just walking around and they make it really easy to grab and stuff like that. So. Yeah. 
<sighs> okay. Good job, Kiwi. Now what are we gonna do for the next? Because I want this video to be at least 20 minutes. Oh, man. I'm not doing a flush. You were too button. awesome. No. You're too awesome for your own good. I actually thought that would take like I think we should just minutes. sit here and talk about the weather for like 10 minutes. And just sit and talk with the elders of the town. It's a beautiful day in July. Well, I'm kind of like creeped out today because our windows are open and there's people walking by looking at us playing this game, talking to ourselves, but oh well. Oh, the joys of... Now, because we didn't really go and do a lot of stuff, like, I, I could have spent so much longer with this episode uh, harvesting things. Actually, it said the quest only took nine minutes. <gasps> oh, I like the little the little pictograph of the monster. It's cool looking. Mm. It looks like something you'd see on a cave wall or something, you know what I mean? Like a symbol for the monster. Well, this is supposed cool. to be, like, old worldy. All right, yeah, so like, uh, like the way that it would be what? depicted in, like, I don't know. On the cave drawings, or maybe cut out of like a whale bone or something. Who knows? Hi, kitty. Ladies and gentlemen, stuff. Stuff. <laughs> now boarding all passengers. Hi, Vey, the cat pods. Yeah. Okay. So, we should be able to do some armor stuff too if we want. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's see what we can do. So many different things. Alright, so see? See the me. different weapons? Oh, so many different Also weapons. see how they have sharpness and slots and things uh, like that. So we're experimenting with... You can never get all of them, though. It's impossible. You'd have right. to play for, like, But do you years. see? do you see how many pieces that you need to keep fighting the monsters to create, like, more stuff? <sighs> yeah. And how well we're doing with our it's sword. It's very overwhelming. Yeah, I'm just yeah. glad that you helped me with my uh, armor, or are still helping me with different armors. Yes, I am. Chief wants a hunter himself. Did stuff. Here's our quest for today. I can't believe she said your arms were scrawny last time. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's do... Hermit crab slay... We can make crab cakes. Okay, we'll do this. You were curious about those little crab things, so we're basically gonna go hunt Yay. those things. I'm not gonna fight the giant crab yet, because I think that'll... Might be a little bit too long. Yeah. So we're just gonna do like uh, basically what's really cool about these little quests is when they give you a certain amount of enemies to take down, like those little people, those help you build the next armor. Yeah. So while I won't be necessarily showing you guys how to put that armor together, we can talk about the parts that you'll need for the crab armor. Crab armor? No way. Yeah, but it doesn't look cool in all oh. black. Though, you do have the ability to change the color pigment Ooh. of your armor. At least it couldn't look as bad as the boar armor. The boar armor looks terrible. Yeah. Yeah, well, because of the boar head. The boar head is... It just makes me think like you just stuck your head inside of a pig's head and it's like all fleshy and gross in there. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's how I feel, I wonder. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hi, kitty. Meow. Couldn't resist. I like hanging out with the cat. Was uh Tinky, Rocky. Tinky and Rocky. And, yeah. Oh yeah, the other cat is just sitting there. I was thinking he was with you. Okay. Whoops. I forgot to take my cold drink. Haha. <laughs> no. My bad. But we actually don't have to, like, I mean, you can use your cold drinks here, but there are areas. See those big, like, vast, um, kind of, like, sandy places? Yeah. That's where it's going to be the hottest. The I, crabs like to hang out, like, right here by this oasis. Oh, and we only have to kill, like, like five or ten of them. Yeah. I think you would take an Oreo freeze or something like that with you if you had a cold drink. Yeah, so I mean, these, these guys, in no time at all, it's not going to take very long you to actually, kill them. You actually, you do like crab cakes, though. I do. I I'm going like to have to learn how to make you some food with crabs. The thing is that I don't like about these monsters, they kind of look like lobsters, and they also have like this really freaky, like, their face. Their face looks kind of demonic. Yeah, their face is really scary. <laughs> yeah, it's like, they're like crab demons. <laughs> yeah, more or less, yeah. Your soul is mine. Ah! Oh, and kids... <laughs> Don't let your other thing go to waste, because by the time you're ah, over there doing stuff... 
Nuts. Always scavenge right away. So you were showing us not what not to do. Okay, this is not a heated area either. But usually when you're like on, see those big planes? That's yeah. where you really need the like cold drink. Oh, I'm very proud of you, Kaylee. You're becoming a very good monster hunter. I'm just becoming like an educational monster hunter. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, I ought to after investing all that time. But you have invested a lot of time, and good thing they'll probably be making Monster Hunter games for the next two thousand years. Uh, I'm only gonna be around for a hundred. I wonder how many years that get video games. If two thousand years from now they're still making video games, I wonder what that would be like. Holodeck. Yeah. Be totally like a holodeck. All right, so we're on the hunt for crabs, but like what I was talking about. Okay, so. We're almost to the area where there would be like a lot of heat and stuff like that, which is going to make things difficult for us. Those are another type of raptor that you can also make armor for, but they look not, mean. Not really going to bother with them because I, I don't really. In some of the early Monster Hunter games, it's important to make like the joggy or raptor armor or whatever. But since they have the great Macau thing, that is the armor that you guys should start like putting together right away. In this area is where you can find the shiny bugs or shiny beetles. Uh, they usually hang out inside the caves, and that's needed to finish your Great Macau armor. Um, the shiny beetles are also important to have later on, because if you're putting together the bear armor, yeah, I think it's called like Azeroth or whatever, um, you need shiny beetles for that too. While the shiny beetles appear occasionally in Verdant Hills and Misty Peaks, they are super rare, and they just hang out mostly at night. If you mm. go to the dunes and you go into the caves and you rest and you go, you keep like going all over the map in the cave areas or the shaded areas, you will yeah. always find the shiny beetle and the royal rhino and the stink hoppers. Oh, that cat had a cute hat. Yeah, it has an adorable hat. Looks like, um, I don't know, like, it looks like, um, uh, Archer Kirby hat. I don't know. A cat with a feather in it, like um, Robin Hood or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. So for the uh, minimal tasks, like, because I'm pretty sure with this save file, what we're going to do is I want the focus to be today just to go through and hunt a lot of the rank two monsters. And then like a couple days from now, I'm going to do some more grinding in the night wing, you know, emphasis on the night and the W. And I want to show people like armors that I've collected and talk to them a little bit about where they can find it and also do some of the mundane quests like fishing yeah. and gathering so and things like that. So you basically, on your different save files, you upgraded different things, yes. basically. So I'm, I'm going to be alternating. So if you guys get a little jarring, like what's going on, I'm going to be switching files. Luke is switching between Earth 1 and Earth 2. He's yes. warp, he's warping between. Yes. And I'm not talking about the game. We really are doing interdimensional travel in real life. No, we're no. It's the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh. You married a weird one there, gaming. And because I like taking my time with uh, hunting monsters when I play with Amber, I'm going to be using like um, probably my other account because like we're similar like in strength or whatever so. oh yeah all right so now i gotta discard I stuff i don't know if i took like a year and did nothing but play this game i don't even think i would be able to get this good i just i can't there's too many things i do like making the i like fishing and i like making the the um like the different uh crafting and stuff like that but uh, I kind of wish I could be like a monster hunter wifey that <laughs> lived in a tent and crafted and went fishing and crafted things for you and put it in a box for you to go out hunting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Man, I should have <laughs> discarded a bunch of my items. Oh. <sighs> eh. Oh, I know. It's kind of annoying because you go out and you have to like, ah... Well, I still have tons of potions from when I was online fighting monsters. I actually found a good group group of people to, to hang out with. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah uh, this one guy from France, and I believe this publication in Germany, 
And when they talk to me, like, in the game, it's their language, so I don't know what they're trying to tell oh, me. Oh, But right. I just kind of hang out with them, and they've got, like, this amazing armor that I would really like to put together, but I think, because I don't know where the Dragonite ore is yet, and some of the other stuff, but they have, like, they look like praying mantises, Whoa. but as they're walking around, their armor is, like, electrical. And oh one, one guy, his armor is changing color as he walks. No way. I mean, they, they look like, and they're hanging out with me, and one guy wrote, he says, you're pretty good with switch axe. And I was like, thank you, because my viewers say I suck. So yeah, Thank you. Yeah. My viewers make me cry. Thanks, yeah, man. I totally do. I needed that. But I mean, oh, it's just cool to know that there's actually publication people that are really, like, good at this game, but I'm sure they've yeah. had the game longer than I have, because, I mean, they look like yeah. Capcom developers. I know, it's cool that, you know, there are publications that... Yeah, because sometimes we actually... I remember we've gone to some uh, things in New York City where we look at a game, and you see somebody from, like, some blog site or whatever, and they're there, they've never played a game in their life, and they're like... Oh, I don't think this game is very good. It's like, yeah, that's because you've never played it. I like when the New York Times shows up at those, like, one events. <laughs> oh my and gosh! They're, they're oh my way, gosh. way overdressed. Yeah. And giving the developers a hard time, and, like, you know. Oh, it's just so funny. Yeah, I remember, like, we were at one of those things, and there was a guy asking, like, he asked, like, one of the, actually, one of the girls that we knew there, she was actually one of the PR people, but he thought she was just there to get her, him coffee Oh my gosh, yes. And it was like, she, it, he just kind of looked at the girl who was the, you know, the smallest there, and it figured that she didn't, it's like she was a PR person just like everyone else, so it's like, hey, you know, just because she's a girl doesn't mean she's here to get you coffee. That's right. <laughs> and then I remember you said something to him. You're like, uh, the drinks are over there, mister. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> like, you just have to help yourself like, like everybody else. Oh. See, if you actually spend time gathering, though, I mean, I wouldn't really consider that a successful gathering thing. But um, your cats collect more yeah. stuff. The more stuff you gather, the more likely it is, you know, your cats can also do stuff. So when you fight a big monster... And you're gathering all these items and stuff when you take the big monster down. If you did it right, yeah. and your cats had time to also dig in and get stuff, you can get so much items and you can craft an armor after just two hunts. But yeah. you have to have the two cats with you. You have I think, to. I think you like Monster Hunter because of the cats gaming. I'm a cat person. <laughs> yeah. I am. I am. But anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode. Thanks so much. Yay. We took on the sand shark and we started building our crab armor. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell me how much fun you are having with Monster Hunter. If you're playing solo, online, or just tackling the story, I want to hear your stories in the comment below. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. God bless and have a gaming. See ya!